I did a video not too long ago um, talking about <clears throat> about uh, Israel and how Israel had made a pact with Pfizer for some data. I'll link that video up top where you can take a look at it. And basically, this is just a little bit of a follow up, but in a different direction. And this, of course, is, as you can see here, electronic bracelets and, of course, how they work. So this is a pilot project offering returnees from abroad to possibly to isolate at home with monitoring devices instead of in hotels will be launched on Sunday. And this was in February, right? This is back in February. It says the, the electronic device will be offered to people returning from abroad who will isolate at home as a result of, instead of being in hotels related to this, it says it will not monitor anything except whether the person is complying with quarantine. It says, according to Odan Trablesi, it says president and CEO of Supercom. It says, moreover, if a person decides to break the rules and leave home, the device will not track them beyond their home. I really don't believe that because the company that is used uh, to tracking them is a cybersecurity. They're specialized in cybersecurity. It says a day after the house minister and the cassette agreed to launch a pilot test on the use of the bracelets. So Supercom is a leading company in the field of cybersecurity and providing safety out of an identification and security technologies to government and private organizations around the world. It goes on to say that they've collaborated with Israel authorities on other projects, including the management of driver's license and systems in the fight against domestic violence. It says they already knew us and they reached out to us if we could help them. It says we offer them a solution custom built for home quarantine. And so you shouldn't be surprised if you start to see things more like this. Now, I did two different videos talking about what was going on in Israel. One, which was related to um, the outcome in terms of the statistics about the vaccine that they utilized. And there was another video talking about how those who opted not to take it or those who are more skeptic, how the government stated that they were going to, in essence, leave them behind, basically creating sort of a dual, uh, like a dual class, you know, one who could freely move around to some extent, and then others who chose not to take the vaccine and would have limited mobility. And of course, that is growing worse. This, of course, is even more dangerous, especially from a people who went through something like the Holocaust to see these sort of things being branded. The other thing was that those, oh man, I wish I remember off the top of my head. I believe it was like a green triangle. I think it was a green triangle that they're utilizing for those who actually got the shot that they would be marked um, with some sort of a green, I believe it was a green triangle. I forget, I'll link the video. You can take a look at it. It wasn't too long, but even more recently, of course, we've seen um, the, with the rollout of, as it says right here, Israel rolls out, right? A new passport, right? So for those who are allowed to travel, have to utilize something like this. And of course, you still have to wear mask. And of course, stuff like this will basically continue. Now, this video isn't going to be too long and I'm not going to go into too much. For those who are interested, you can look up um, basically this information. You can see the images over here of what the devices look like, as you can see right here. These are the devices for those um, basically to help track individuals, right? You can see them here. This is what this is what they look like. Um, basically helping people get tracked for the particular virus, even though it says that they're not. But this isn't the purpose of this video. I'm going to keep this one short. The reason being is because I'm going to link this video called right here, The Outcry from Israel. It's a, it's a bit long. I believe it's about 40 minutes, but it's well worth the watch because it's from the standpoint. This, this particular YouTuber doesn't make English videos, um, but this particular video is done in English from, and of course, they have a, a Jewish woman um, on there talking more extensively about what is going on in, in Israel. And it's very eye opening and it's something that many should pay attention to. I'm going to leave the link and end the video here. And I'm going to leave the link at the bottom. I highly encourage you to pay attention to what is going on because this is basically the blueprint of what will move out in other countries. Like I said in that video that I did, 
what was going on in Israel was basically the push to make it more, I guess, mainstream of what the future would look like for those who choose not to take the vaccine. Very important. Take a look at my video and then if more, you know, even more importantly, I would recommend for you to watch this video. I'm going to cut this here. Thanks for watching. Of course, feel free to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll be doing another video. I haven't had the time, but I do have the information talking a little bit more um, about AstraZeneca uh, and their vaccine.